In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use PowerPoint to remove the background of an image. But we're not going to stop there. We're going to add some artistic effects within PowerPoint so that you get a final product that looks like this. Hi there, I'm Mike, and I'm all about accessible Microsoft Learning to help you unlock new opportunities. So the first thing we're going to do is create a copy of this picture. And you can do that in PowerPoint just by selecting on the picture and then pressing Control D on your keyboard. And then you can see the two variations side by side, what each one would look like when we remove the background and to the left when we don't remove the background of this picture. So on the right, I'm going to remove the background by selecting the picture and then clicking on the picture format tab here. And then I'm going to go over to the very left of this ribbon and choose the remove background icon here. And you're going to see it's going to automatically remove parts of the background that it thinks are actually in the background. Um, but you can see that PowerPoint's not perfect at doing this. Um, it's sort of cut off the fish's tail. It's cut off the, uh, the man's flipper here and a little bit of his knee. So we don't want that. Um, so to fix those kind of errors, uh, you click Mark Areas to Keep and just kind of draw around where you would uh, areas you'd like to keep. Sometimes it picks up um, this very easily. Sometimes it doesn't. And as you can see, it cut off more of the man's knee and his gadgets there. So I sort of have to draw a line there and draw a line around the fishtail. OK, so we're sort of getting better at it. It's still cutting off the, um, the end of his flipper. And that's just because the bluey green um, color of the flipper uh, matches sort of the background. So PowerPoint's getting confused. But I think I'm happy with that. But there's also some areas I would remove. So you can click on Mark Areas to Remove. And I'm just going to draw a line around them. Now, if, I won't spend all day doing this. But if you were a perfectionist, you could really zoom in and sort of uh, get a crisp outline of this just so there's no mistakes. But because of the artistic effect that we're going to add, we don't have to um, spend all day doing this. And I'll show you what I mean. So if I'm happy with this, I'm going to click uh, Keep Changes. And this is what that would look like. So this is really nice. Maybe if you're creating like a YouTube thumbnail and you want to remove the background of a picture and then add your own ba unique background, that would be great. But I thought we'd do something um, a little bit special in PowerPoint. And something that's really important to know if you're doing a PowerPoint MOS exam, which is how to add artistic effects. So when you click on a picture and then go to the Picture Format tab, artistic effects are up here. And you can add a bunch of them. I'm just going to scroll over my mouse over some of the artistic effects. And you can see the picture changes to some of these um, artistic effects. Maybe Water Sponge would be nice for this one. But I'm going to choose the line drawing one. And then we're going to overlay this picture on top of the original and then see the effect that that has. So I'm kind of blur the background so we can focus on the man and the fish. And that's what that would look like. So a really cool way to remove a picture but then overlay um, its background. And you can add some artistic effects that way in PowerPoint. So now I need your help deciding which picture is better. If this is picture one right here with a very simple design and this is picture two, which one do you think is better? Let me know in the comments below. Type picture one or picture two. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.